Sue Dantel, she is a myth extraordinaire. She's been here from the very beginning. Sue, number one. Number one. What's the, 17 years? Right? 17 and years. And we were 10. <laughs> yes. So we, we started young. Yes. Yeah. So, so tell us about your film. I have two films that showed. Yesterday was Jaden's Journey, a story about a little boy that uh, was orphaned and a lady uh, adopted him. And then today they showed my trailer for the Story Musgrave. Dr. Story, story Musgrave. You see my oh, it's over there? beautiful. And uh, there's a two-hour documentary. It's a very, in a very interesting man. Story Musgrave, the astronaut. The astronaut Fle flew on six shuttles. Um, he did the first space shuttle walk and repaired the Hubble telescope. This is going to be a great documentary. Yeah. Thank you for being here, Sue, well, and thank you for, for being at, at the MIF. Yes. We appreciate you. Send me that, Doug. <laughs> she wants that picture, Doug. Yeah, because oh, wait, wait, do another one. We haven't had our picture this year. We always have to I know, I know. Come on. You have three films in the MIF this year? Wow! Come, come, come! Two together. Two together and okay, others. please give me, state your name and your films, please. Uh, my name is Michelle Brown, and I have Until Tomorrow and The Deepest Cut. And? And I directed The Deepest Cut and um, Until Tomorrow with Michelle, and then I was part of the dynamic duo program with uh, Dragon Child. Wow, you guys are multi talented. Where are you from? Orlando. You're from Orlando. It's nice to have you in Melbourne. Do you ever come east very often? Yeah, all the time for the beach. <laughs> we love Melbourne, Florida, don't we? Let's take a quick yeah. photo. <laughs> thank you for being here and thank you for your work. Thank you. All these people doing all these films, I swear. TL and he had two films, Textpod and TL. TL. Yeah. TL, what does TL stand for? Do I want to know? Total loser. Tender lover. Oh, I'll, I'll go with that. I like that. Much <laughs> I like that. better. Yes, Much I better. think that's better. Yes. So tell me about your films. I had Tech Squad, a short comedy, kind of a buddy cop film, uh -huh. and uh, M Theory, a short sci-fi film. Great. And you are here for how many years? Have you been here? This is your first year? This is my first year in Melbourne. Yes. We I'm are so it. happy to have you. Isn't it a great event? It is amazing. Yeah. You well, guys do it right. You. Thank you, Tender Lover. Oh. We'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, wow. This myth is so powerful. We've got a star here tonight. I'm going to be interviewing him soon. But first. Hi. I know you. Hi. Hello. How are you? Give us your name. Do you see that camera right over there? There's people in the audience in the theater waiting to hear who you are. All right. My name is Alexander LaFortune. And yeah. And what did you do on the film? I was an extra. And you were an extra? I, was it fun? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah? Was it, did you do any kind of jujitsu or karate? What, what scene were you in? I was in the scene where I looked at a phone and that, that's about it. <laughs> I wasn't and exactly the most productive did, did person Did you learn a lot about filmmaking? Yes, Did you I did. realize how much work goes into the, each film that's made and how many people it takes to make a film? Yeah. Gives you a different yeah. kind of view about it, doesn't it? I, yeah. Well, it's so nice to see you. Thank you. Hey, Christina. This this woman is an actress too. Give us your name. State I'm, your name and all the things you do. I'm Christina LaFortune. I work at Florida Today. I'm the host of the Florida Today Show, and I'm an actor in local theater. And you're good. And I was in the background of the martial arts kids. So yay! yay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to have you here. Thank you. See you soon. Are you the dip, Big Daddy? Yes, I am. And what's your name, Big Daddy? I love um, this. Thank you. I'm Mike LaFortune. Mike. My... I was responsible, half responsible for that. I can see. And he's very polite and what a lovely young man he is. Yes, and she's mostly responsible for that. That's mostly thanks to his mother. Well, you know, moms do a lot yes, these exactly. days. <laughs> it's nice Good to see you, me. Mike. All right, you guys, be prepared. I'm about to get my ass kicked. Don Wilson. Now I'm happy. All right. Now I'm at the festival. Dragon Don right. Wilson, it's good yes. to see you. Yep. What the heck are you doing here in Melbourne, Florida? I am here to support The Martial Art Kid, which is a, a new movie coming out. It's in the theaters right now as we speak. And it's doing very well. The audience is liking it. And uh, it's a family film, which is unusual for me. <laughs> because you know I normally kill 20 people per, per movie. Yes. yes all I bad guys, though. All bad guys. Uh, but in this movie, I don't kill anybody. So, no, you, you so, kind of injure somebody, though. 
no, no, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but but, there, but but it's a, a children's movie, PG-13. You know, oh, there's a little, okay. little action, but no uh, overt violence or nudity or anything. Blood so it, it's no. great for families. It no bloodletting. Yes, right. No, no. <laughs> well, it was nice to actually sit next to you at the Burbank Film Festival and watch oh. the martial arts kid. Oh, yeah. We got to sit next to each other. Yes, but, but she knows all the behind-the-scenes stuff, the stuff that TMZ can't even find out <laughs> because she was working on the movie. She's one of the people behind-the-scenes producers of you the know, movie. And I don't think I ever got to the set Mwah. once, maybe, to say my line. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, you were on the set. Right, right, right. She, you have to watch carefully. You will see her in the film. Keep your eyes open. And it's, don't blink. It's Are like you that missing? Waldo kind of thing. You remember yeah. that guy Waldo? You're looking for him? She's going to be like a female version of Waldo. you got to find her in the movie. <laughs> Thank you, Don. It's so good to have you in Melbourne, Florida. This guy, 10-time world champion kickboxing? Uh, 11! 11! 11. Well, I forget how many, but a lot. A handful of kickboxing titles. You're awesome. Oh, it's so you. nice that you came to visit us here in Melbourne, Florida. Dragon Don, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. We are interviewing more peeps. And this is one of my favorite peeps coming up, you guys. If you've been to the MIF before, you're going to know who this is. Come to me, Michael Baumgarten. Robin. Woo! Hey, Director, Robin. Writer, producer. I wouldn't even be at the MIF if it wasn't for Robin. Aw, that's true. I never even would know about the MIF if it wasn't for Robin. Robin. Robin did everything. So, so he came from Los Angeles, yeah. but he actually came from Florida many years ago. Yes, I was born and raised in Key West and then uh, did high school and college in Orlando. So what are you working on now, Michael? I know the martial arts kid, you, you wrote it, you directed it, you've got so many things and irons in the fire. Tell us a few of them. Uh, one of them is an upcoming movie we're going to film on the other side of Florida, which is called Pan Mr. Maggetti. It's an action comedy starring Don Wilson and R. Marcus Taylor. Marcus starred as Suge Knight in Straight Outta Compton. Okay. And it's then there's a good. really intense, serious yes. movie that you're working on right now. Then there's going to be a movie about the story of SWAT officer Randy Simmons, who was killed in 2008. And uh, his widow asked me to write the script with her. And uh, we've got a great script. We're starting to assemble a great team of people that are working on Oscar-nominated wow. or Oscar-winning things. So everybody that's reading the script is coming on board to help us out. Well, you've come a long way, Mikey, since The Night Brings Charlie in Orlando. Yes, <laughs> that's where I met Robin in The yeah. Night Brings Charlie. She got her head cut off. Yes, it yes. was amazing. It was a bloody mess. I can tell you that right now. Yes. Michael Baumgarten, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank, Thank you for Robin. always thinking of me, and I always think of you. I always think of you more. Oh, yeah. oh, this, is so, this is so thrilling. Martial arts people. We have a kickboxing guy, I can tell. Because somebody signed your nipple. Right, thank you. <laughs> How you doing? What's your name? David DiQuillo. David De what? DiQuillo. DiQuillo. And DiQuillo. That's close. <laughs> close <enough. laughs> what did you do on the film? A uh, small part. I was part of one of the instructors in the... Uh, Guiding us, the extras, in the, the movements. In the big, the big yeah. oh, workout. The big scene, yeah. in the big yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. great. It, it was That's really all. great. Where are you from? Merritt Island. You're from Merritt Island. You know, we we got a lot of people, local people, to be in this film, yeah. and it's really nice to have that excitement here in Florida. It was pretty it? cool. I, I knew at least 30, 40 people that were in the crowd. Really? Yeah. And I'm from right here, South Patrick Shores. Uh, my name is Eddie Craig. Eddie, it's great to have you on the red carpet. Thank you so much. And we've got kickboxing stars. We've got all kinds of people. Who do we have here? Hi, James. James what? James Spadola. What did you do, James? I was an extra in the martial arts kid. You were too? Yes. Oh, this is awesome. Well, we had 300 extras. I'm sure that there's going to be some of you in the audience tonight getting to see the film for the very first time. Absolutely. And let me tell you, you will not be disappointed. I won't. No, you will <laughs> not. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. OK. All right. We have more to come. Who do we have here? Car Virginia Oliver. Hi. Virginia. Hello. Hi. Hi. And Stephen Powell. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Stephen Powell. Uh, yep, so, we're engaged. Yes. You guys are really? They're engaged? Yes. This happens a lot. This happened last year. Somebody else was engaged or just got married or something on the red carpet. It, I'm, I'm so honored. Can I perform your ceremony? I'm just kidding. I'm not <laughs> so uh, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, what did you work on? We are with Party Fowl. Um, I'm the producer and the story editor. And then Stephen wrote and directed. Yeah, I was writer and director on Party Fowl. 
Uh, it's a short film, 11 minutes. It played earlier this morning. Um, uh, at the Florida Filmmakers matinee. Yeah. Oh, and great. I was actually here two years ago and uh, with a music video for the Bang Ups. I worked here when I was in high school, so this is my, like, this is always my coming home festival. So it's really nice to be back with, like, a second piece and, you know, we squeeze some wedding planning in while we're home. Squeeze you know, some wedding plans. It all works out well. Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so oh, I can't believe you used to work here. Let me tell you, the Oaks 10 Theater is such a beautiful place. Our friend Rob Kuros, I'll talk to you about him later. He was one of the owners of the, of the theater and he died in a plane crash. And the character in the martial arts kid is kind of an homage to Rob. Oh, we have somebody else coming up here. His name is Lear Bunda. Hello. Get that How are you? Get out of your mouth, bro. I'm, I'm in toothpick mode right now. Better than cigarette mode. No, absolutely. I know, I know. So give us a little hint about what you've been doing. Well, I'm a red hat lady now. I joined the red hat lady well, society. Well, where's your purple? I don't know about the purple. I'm colorblind. <laughs> um, I'm here. I've got a bunch of dumb comedy films that I played last yesterday that went over really well. I'm glad everybody got to laugh and have a good time. And I love the myth. Can't, that music video yeah. was interesting too. Oh, thank you. I'm a I'm I'm space walker. I play music in a space suit all around town, and that's that's one of the songs for my record. I got to play it last night. That's great, yeah. Lear. Thank you for being here again. Yeah, always shoot music videos with your cab drivers. Cab drivers are the best. In <laughs> They're the best for like putting in your movies and stuff. Paula King, Paulette, Paulette, and family. And the crew and the cast. Okay, circle around here, you guys. Circle around here, and we will get to talking to you. I see my dad out there. Hi, Daddy. Okay, you guys, come closer to me. I don't bite and I don't smell that I know of. Okay, give us a short rundown, Paulette. The short synopsis: the um, husband find love again after the death of his um, wife. That's an intense story, and I kind of lived that, except I wasn't the husband. <laughs> oh, okay. He will do most of the talking for me today. Okay, he'll do the talking for you? Oh, okay, well, I don't want to hurt your throat. That, oh, sorry. Come on, come over here. Oh, hi, Robin. Hi, how are you? Good, what can I do Tell for you? Ah, the film. Uh, well, you know Paulette when she does films. Uh, she she usually does films uh, that, that try to stir us emotionally. And um, this year's movie was called Moving On. It was about a, a man who had lost his wife and also a child was involved, a daughter. So um, in order for him to get on with his life, he had to get over wearing that ring. And so the, 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 more, the, the, the underlying story of this was he really needed to get over wearing that ring. And... Um, he met his daughter's ballet teacher, who is this beautiful lady right Hello. here. And uh, this Elena. is my wife, Elena Shokina. I own Brevard Ballet Academy. From Brevard Ballet Academy, exactly. She owns Brevard Ballet Academy. Um, anyway, so he asked um, uh, his daughter's wife out on a date and he's nervous and finally his phone rings he sees that it's from brevard ballet academy he takes his ring off puts it in a drawer closes it you know and you can see he's moving on and also the daughter at the same time she needs to move on as well so what a beautiful story paulette thank you oh yes it's always great to see paulette king who's the winner of the robin and eddie independent spirit award and many others here at the MIP. thank you very much hope you feel better Thanks, Robin. It's always Bye. a pleasure seeing you. It's good to see you. Yes, nice to meet you. All right, wow, we're about to wrap it up here. Martial arts kid, the last of the evening. Come here. Hey, how are you Hi, doing? Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name's Chip Post. Uh, I grew up with Don. In fact, I'm that original kid that got bullied. I moved in from Chicago, and oh. as a result of knowing Don, I became his agent, his attorney, and uh, we've been all over the world together while he has fought, and this is really a great opportunity to come here. It is, so, and it's a great movie. And yeah. I, this is your life story, then. Well, i got to be honest with you. I saw the screening in New York. Yeah. I saw the screening in Miami, and so it's like the Rocky Horror Picture <laughs> Show for me. I can do it. Can you do the toast yeah. and everything? Yeah. Yeah. All right. There we go. Well, Everybody in the excited. theater, we are so excited that you yeah. are here. And thank you for being a part oh, of Dragon Dawn. He's amazing. Oh, he's amazing. i got to say, it's nice that he does a movie where he doesn't take his clothes off. Oh, well, I would have looked you forward know. to that, well, actually. Well, I don't get into that. <laughs> 
Anyway, Thank you for being but, here. Anyway, it was nice great meeting. to meet yes, you too. Absolutely. I'll Thank see God. you soon. And this is our final interview. And look at what I have here. All right, you are Robin. It's so awesome. It's so awesome to be here with Robin Krasny. You know, at the MIF, this is their 17th year. We can't believe it. We've got such great help from Rachel and Carrie. You know, <laughs> this red carpet has run like a machine. And it's really because of you, Robin. <laughs> oh, please. It is. Rachel it really helped is. and Carrie really helped, but it ran like a machine. I've never seen such controlled chaos in my life. It worked out great. <laughs> it did. And having Don the Dragon Wilson here is just blowing my mind. What a great guy. You worked on this film, Robin, right? I sure did. I was production coordinator for Florida. And it's a job that requires way too much paper pushing for me. I never want to do it again. But I enjoyed being with the cast and the people that I did see when I was in the office for 20 hours a day. Well, it's such an honor to be with so many creative ladies here at the MIF. If you guys haven't been to Melbourne, you need to come here. Yeah, you need to come here. I was born here. <laughs> I grew up here. <laughs> and I'm going to die here. <laughs> well, we want to thank everyone who has helped support the MIF over the years, 17 years. Dr. Terry Cronin here, one of the first boys. We have three boys. You want to give your, your shout out? Jeff, Bob, and poor Pat couldn't make it this year. And of course, I got to give my shout out to my wife. I'm a happily married man, even though I got these beautiful women with me. And I know this is going to be proof to get me in trouble. So thank you so much. Thank you from the MIF the Melbourne Independent Filmmakers Festival in our 17th year.